this is beautiful will successfully increase the capacity of the alternator by using a capacitor and a diode if you notice carefully that was giving us 272 272 what when we measured and kickstarted the generator that was giving us 272 against the 132 it gave us in the first place in the first starting before doing all this so hey guys uh welcome to uh, today's class if you are just joining us for the first time you are most welcome um on this channel we try our possible best to teach stuff that can help us ease our day-to-day -day activities on today's class we're looking at this generator is a fairly old generator and this um, whole practical class is also in reference to a question someone asked us in our comment section that we should help convert an AVRO to a capacitor. All right, this generator is a generator for a client. The client complained that the generator does not produce appropriate voltage to power uh, his lighting points. What that basically means is the bulb, when the gen is on, as big as the gen, when the gen is on, it doesn't provide good voltage. The bulb is more like a candle light, uh, candle light, if you know what I mean. All right, on this class today, we'll be looking at the gen critically. Another thing the client told us was the starter has been worked on, that has been rewinded and manually by technicians. So, and we felt okay, the best thing to do after rewinding since they've used AVRO and it doesn't work, is to use a capacitor, which is in, also in line with the question someone asked us some time ago. So without further ado, I have my multimeter here. The main aim of bringing this multimeter is to test the voltage of the generator before and to test the voltage of the generator after we may have used the capacitor. All right, this is the multimeter. I'll put it on. I've set my probe appropriately so I can test for voltage. I would have placed it on 200 volts. Okay, this is 2 volts, 20 volts, 200 volts, 750 volts. I would have placed it on 200 volts, but I don't quite know if this generator, after kickstarting it, will overshoot and produce over 200 volts. So I want to put it at 750 which in my opinion is a very very safe margin all right let me put on the generator and test for the voltage You see, we have 134 volts. 130. The generator just now gave us 134 volts. So I'll be I'll be boosting this whole alternator with the capacitor, and I will teach you guys how I did it. I will try to make this class as short as possible so we are not bored with this teaching. All right, this is the AVRO. I will simply take the AVRO out. I will simply take the AVRO out as we will be making use of it again. Okay, this is the AVRO. 
It's actually a brand new AVRO, but that doesn't change the fact that if your alternator is not good, the AVRO cannot really do much. So we have to take the AVRO aside, we drop it. Then we'll go to our capacitor. Okay, I was actually building this stuff, but I feel you should be in the know of how I built it. This is my capacitor. And this is what we'll be using for the generator now. This is my capacitor. It's a 24 micro microfarad capacitor. 24 microfarad. And this is a diode. Okay, more teaching on the functions of a diode in our next class. But this is a diode and this is a capacitor. It's no longer news that the capacitor's function is to store charges, right? Good. So see what I did. See what I did. I connected the wire. Don't forget this capacitor is it's not polarized. You can you can how will I put it now? You can put a wire any at any point and it will still uh, perform the same function. So I can decide to carry this and put it there, it doesn't matter. What matters is this diode that we're hiding there. Okay, this is uh, a wire coming out from one point of the capacitor and this coming out from another point of the capacitor okay let me take it out so we get properly this is the capacitor there a wire coming out and this wire coming out all right this is a diode a diode if you look carefully you will see a positive sign here okay this is the positive of the diode other videos on how to test the diode will come forth in the next few weeks but this is a positive of the diode what i did here was to connect a wire out of the diode itself do you get the wire comes out of the diode right you see the opposite path which happens to be negative another wire comes out of the diode are you getting me good what i did now was to connect these parts the positive parts that comes out of the diode to what i now termed the positive parts that comes out of the capacitor although i initially said capacitor is no polar but i just use that term so we get so we try to understand and not miss up things you get so what you understand now, that's why I use same wire. What you understand now is positive coming out straight to the capacitor, right? And then having a branch, a loop, if I'm to use that term, a loop. If you look directly opposite, directly opposite, this is the positive, this is the directly opposite. Another wire coming out, right? This is another wire coming out then connected now to the other part of the capacitor which is this right connected to the other part of the capacitor remember i did a branch here and of course i will do a branch here too don't worry by the time i'm done with this you will know why i'm doing all this there's a branch right so we have a positive wire coming from here down to the capacitor and a branch a negative wire coming from here down to the capacitor and the branch these two we head towards the brush the carbon brush but let's leave that for now from the opposite side of the um for the other side the other points of the diode there are two points right we pick up a wire opposite we pick up another wire opposite and what are we doing just because we are trying to build it in the mode we are trying to build it in the mode of a diode in the mode of an avro you get me this avro this part of the avro goes to the exciter of the alternator this is the exciter of the alternator are you getting me this is the exciter of the alternator and this it's supposed to be connected to the exciter of the alternator and then of course disconnected to the brush do you get me 
all right i'll pull it out again i hope you understood that part i'm heading somewhere now we have this right i can take this out but just i've done it so tight so i'll have to leave it after building this part which i believe we all understood now i was talking about this other part the opposite part which is this we take it up remember we still have to connect to the exciter remember we still have to connect to this exciter and of course what better way to do it than to cut this part of it so that it will fit in here are you getting me we cut a part that will fit in and that was how we did get this part from another dead avr we got this part from another dead avr we did cut it out and we join it to this up this other side of the diode and of course we now connect it to the uh, exciter now that we have done that what we successfully done is to build another avr obviously but this time we've used okay let me tie this well it just came off we've built another avr but what we've done here is we now did an avr with a capacitor and a diode i'll put on the gen now so we can test before before giving this a tape before cello taping everything i will put on the gen now so we can test the voltage it now produces all right all right come here beautiful or we'll successfully increase the capacity of the alternator by using a capacitor and a diode if you notice carefully that was giving us 272 272 what when we measured and kickstarted gentle that was giving us 272 against the 132 it gave us in the first place in the first starting before doing all this so having perfected this we couple back and use our gen okay. all right um let's just tip everything well taped well taped okay we screw this diode the body of the generator which is popularly called the armor shock cover these are interesting topics in our next class Very interesting topics in our next class armor shock cover we'll be dealing on it as soon as okay i'll take this up because there's really no space to fit it in here I'll take it up, put it at the top there. So this place is quite free. All right. sometimes you have to be careful so you don't miss wires oh I will have to tape this again just realize it's not well taped
all right that is it for our end for this class we've successfully converted the generator from using uh the generator alternator rather from using the avro to now using a capacitor okay hope you've enjoyed this class i do know you've enjoyed the class and i do know you want to visit us some more well if you haven't subscribed please do where to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that when videos are posted you are among the first to see our videos kindly interact with us via the comment sections ask your questions just like this guy asked um, us to help convert uh, if you are to capacitor which we just did and when you do ask questions like that we are definitely going to uh, reply you with video teachings that would definitely come handy for you in the long run it's goodbye from our end till we meet in our next class